It's the sheer enjoyment you get in driving fast in roads that you're not supposed to drive fast on. It's just yourself and the car. We just let loose, we just go all out and we just have fun. It's like playing the mud like a kid. So, parang naglalibu ka lang talaga, bata ka pa. Pero ito, for big boys. And this is the land of wolves now. You will not survive here. You're not a wolf. And this is the land of wolves now. Working hard on my grind, yeah. Paper cash on my mind, yeah. Money, 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 ain't nothing funny. Yeah. Ang uh, rally kasi, ang dirt racing, madulas eh. So, ang, ang makikita mo, ang mga follower nito talagang nahanda silang ilubak-lubak yung kotse at uh, madumihan yung kotse. Parang inborn ka na mahilig ka sa dirt racing. Well, a long time ago, a group of friends started dirt racing in the horse race track of Santa Ana. We used to be the uh, Nodalos rally team. So during the uh, 80s, 90s and 2000s, Nodalos rally team was very active. And then uh, we've all moved on to something else. Then um, we had the uh, tulip type of rally in which you have uh, three persons on board, one route navigator, one time navigator. Uh, we Filipinized it and called it Sampagita Rally. meron ditong mga ilan lang na umabot pa nung 80s tsaka 90s uh, ilan na lang pero pag tiningnan mo majority nito talagang bata na bago na this is also a fast growing sport because like 6 years ago they only had like 10 drivers competing now we have more than 50 and the good thing about it is most of the drivers have championships under their belt David Flesciano, I'm the 2017 Driver of the Year. We just saw that. Uh, basically, we just let loose, we just go all out, and we just have fun. Hey, I'm Choi Mabunay. I'm the 2019 uh, Philippine Rallycross uh, Group 1 Champion. What I love about racing the most is probably that there's a challenge every time you're out. It's always a learning experience. You have to learn something to keep up with the best or just chase the best every time you're out so there's always a challenge you're always trying to learn and then the friendship the camaraderie and just the atmosphere of being around cars and people like me is the best for me the best feeling i get when i'm racing is the competitive feeling of trying to become a better version of yourself it's it's not about having the most power but having the most feel on the car. It's how you get the most grip out of every corner, out of every stretch. You really have to find the sweet spot. It's just you and the car. When uh, the other competitors pass through the road, it becomes rotted, it becomes uh, broken. Natututunan mo yung balancing ng kotse. 
no, balancing na sa, sa simento kasi yung alam mo, ito yung breaking point ito yung turning point ito yung acceleration okay. dito hindi every time na dadaan ka, iba yung itsura yung sudden adjustment mo ng driving, yun yung masarap na pakiramdam eh, hindi siya palagi mong inuulit-ulit lang hindi eh, kasi nasisira yung road lumalaki, lumalaki, lubak yung iba nga biglang nagiging jump magugulat ka, jump na siya eh <laughs> It's super exciting. It's exhilarating. Sometimes you don't know what's going to happen and I guess that's the challenge and that's what makes you feel alive. As long as you have a, a roadworthy car, you have the guts to drive through a low traction um, dirt roads. Yung rally car nagagamit mo sa kalye kasi normal yung height. Ang kaibahan lang may mud flaps, may stickers ka. Siya yung pinakamantipid na motorsports. So, di importante kung yung kotse mo sobrang gagara o bulok, ganun. Ang mahalaga, masaya kayo ng mga tropa mo. Ang magpapasaya sa inyo yung mga samahan sa pagkakaroon ng kotse, yung mga kasama nyo sa sakit ng ulo, kasama nyo sa road trip. Tapos akala ko dati, pagka nagkakotse ako, dadami yung mga chicks. Hindi pala totoo, dadami lang mga lalaki, ganun. Parang naging sausage party na yung naganap. Yung mga iba dyan, kung inisip nyo ang kotse eh, kisa pagkakaroon ng mga girl lalo, nagkakamali kayo. Puro mga bros ang makukuha nyo. You just really enjoy the car because you are, you're, you're enjoying it at the same time. You're also learning the car's uh, handling and you're also being, trying to be faster than yourself. So it just improves you as a driver. You can always try to improve yourself. Whether it's it's your driving or your or your cars, it's 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 a matter of adapting yourself and trying to improve and beating your previous times. Either the truck's getting faster, it's getting slower. So you try to make do of whatever the truck throws at you. It's like life. What captivates uh, the enthusiast to off-roading is because it's like pitting your machine and yourself against nature. Me and my homies gonna roll today and every hater in the world can get blown away. Could careless, I'm off the green and pastures, white sand beaches, cream and pasto. I'm off in the dark shit, rolling with the full clip, done with the bullshit. Why do I love it? Because it rejuvenates me. Every time I come out here, it's a new terrain. It's something that refreshes me from a busy day's work, and it's right in my backyard. Uh, the club was founded in uh, 1981. We started out with five rigs, and then later on, we, we joined uh, with some American uh, servicemen from Clark. It was just like a brotherhood of uh, four-wheel drive enthusiasts. We didn't have the plan to, to organize a club, but later on, it evolved as a club, and then it became a necessity. In 1991, when the Sinatubo erupted, all the bridges in our area were washed away. All of a sudden, we realized only us driving the 4x4 were able to cross the, the river. Yun yung nagamit namin dito pang transport. Nag namibigay kami ng mga relief goods ganyan sa mga naapektuhan. So a lot of people realized that uh, it is a necessity to have a 4x4. So all of a sudden, we grew in numbers. Kami yung mga tumutulong sa pag may calamity. Last year, nagpunta kami sa Batangas, tumulong kami doon. Nagbigay kami ng relief. So in 1993, we formalized the club. At the same time, we introduced off-road racing in the Philippines back in September 1993. Uh, Nag-driver of the year ako ng 2013 and 14. Nahilig ako sa 4x4 dahil yung father ko, siya yung nag-start na nag-race din. Kung baga, tinuloy ko lang. Di ba, may mga obstacle, di ba? Iisipin mo kung paano ma-re-reach yung obstacle na yun. Kaya yung pagmamaneho namin, pagmamaneho ko, hindi lang yung sarili ko yung ano iniisip ko. Iniisip ko kung paano uh, lampasan mo talaga yung tunay na obstacle, ganun. 
So it takes skill, you know, and it takes uh, four by four to be able to overcome those obstacles. Napakasarap ng feeling. Now it turned into a lifestyle. As you can see, it's a way of uh, bringing the whole family in the open, in the in the like the hillside or in our case in the Pinatubo area. Ang ginagawa namin ng mga family namin, uh, nag-overnight kami sa mga bundok. Saturday, alis kami na Saturday morning until Sunday. Introduce our kids to, you know, you tell them the story about Pinatubo and then they're also amazed by how a 4x4 can conquer all these obstacles. Nothing compares. I mean, aside from this, this trail that has a riverbed that comes from Pinatubo, we have other trails that, that can give you different excitements, different experiences and if you want to get competitive you can if you want to just chillax and do your basic outback uh, your overland thing you can do it a big portion of it is also your the equipment that you're bringing it's not necessarily having the expensive equipment it's just having the right equipment at the right time or using that equipment a certain way i also tinker with my my rigs I, sometimes I even change the engines or probably modify the engine or probably do something about the suspension and then try it out. Ganun lang yun. Kumbaga kami, ganun din nangyari sa amin. Nag-start kami doon sa rig na ginawa lang tapos yung upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Bakit ng gastos? Don't get too caught up in trying to build your rig. Just do it. As long as you have your basic off-road uh, vehicle, Start from there. Uh, get stuck. Play in the mud. Have fun. Don't think about people laughing at you. Don't think about people thinking, you know, you're not good enough. Just have fun. Try it. Then from there, you'll know what you need. Yo, baby, check my flow, yo. This is how I go, yo. Go ahead and take a hit. Don't worry about a po po. Show you the hood, y'all. Show you the road, y'all. This is how it goes when you roll with the boss, dog. I give you anything. Gucci designer frames that treat you royal like a queen. So be loyal to a king, but we go round. Girl, I can't do anything. I'm a player for show, and you can play with dog. I'm living by the code ever since nightfall. I know the rules, and you gotta choose, baby. If it's me or Sneaky G, I got none to lose, baby. He my homie for real. Ain't none to come between us. We can love, we can lust, we can't play as both. I love you hoes, but my brother comes first. You can drop my gangsta dick, it's a different perk. So what's wrong? Me off you, it's me choosing him to lose some calculation. <laughs> Strong, love for porn, love for brothers, sitting in the corner, ticket it over with dogs so light, yeah, damn, we tight, get hurt, right, we're about to fight for them, that's right, it's a hard lesson, got me stressing if I'm making the right decision, but still I'm leaving, yeah, I'm greeting this girl, we found, but stand in line, stand in line, the G's up, hoes down, is out, we get around, the out, G's get it down, from Q to Alabang, yo, you better believe it's you, I'm leaving, it's brother meeting, yeah, we even, the fuck the reason, it's dog and choosing, we ain't beefing for girls bitching, money over bitches, bros before hoes, it's right or die, yo, tell it to my friends. Oh, yeah, what can't you see? Those going to be in here and free. So down for me, see, it's you and me. I'm sure, see, the riddle will be it's you to leave. Bitch, don't get confused. You can play with my two go. Touch all my jewels, just don't act like a fool, yo. It's all the face, let's cut to the chase. We need some space when we make my waste. All the time and days, it's all the way. So now you pay, it's you play. Wait, fucking around, just enjoy my sound. Cause like Mariah Carey, you about to break down. Got time to tank, no we're popping drinks. All the beers are gin. So now we're singing to you. We bring this on the spin. This is what we're saying. We hope you get what fucking me. Kahit ako pa ay pumikit Tulog ko, ma 
Mahimbin, gising ng wa-